today is going to be chest day. We're going to go with some decline, chest fly. Switch legs, five and five. Again, we're gonna bump the weight up and then we're gonna just keep doing that. Second set. Switch. So technically this is called stagger stance. Chest flies. <clears throat> I lost count, so I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna rest like 30, 45 seconds, bump the weight up to 60 pounds. All right, guys, second set. Stagger stands, chest fly, standing. Solid. Our next movement, our next movement is some ISO chest press. We're going single arm. So really get that squeeze. We keep it at ten. I'm gonna bump the weight up. Got to be careful in this because of my shoulders. So I want to make sure I'm in the right position. Okay, we're gonna bump the weight up. I'm only, since that was like kinda technically like a warm up, I'm gonna bump the weight up, put a 25 on it, and then I'm gonna go right into it, so. All right, this should be a harder set. Lock in. This machine is great for the lower pecs. I've been a pec minor. Six. <clears throat> As you know, the hitting anything with the pec minor is always connected to the lower chest. So this is actually a great movement specifically for me and for everyone else. You know, everyone has uh, is blessed with like certain genetics of muscle groups that stand out. Um, but I definitely have to work hard on my uh, pec minor, especially do, once again, I know it's not like a broken record, but the shoulder injury kind of really uh, set me back big time as far as certain movements I can do and stuff like that. So a lot of these movements y'all see me do, I'm kind of making a lot of adjustments and just kind of power, powering through them. So it really it boils down to, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. That's really my motto. Like if you stop working it, obviously it's gonna be atrophy. You might even experience more pain. So the best thing you could do is strengthen that muscle group up, right? So obviously when you have those setbacks like that, before I could have probably did three plates doing this. Now I'm like in between here, but the more I stay consistent at it and get stronger and stay healthy, obviously I can get back to where I was at before. So that's one of my goals as well. All right, guys, I'm a third set. <clears throat> Keep it at 10. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
One more. Perfect. Only three sets. Now we're on to our next movement. All right, guys. We are on to our block pressing, right? So I'm going to take a nice little mid grip. Right, this is great for the chest, obviously. And this is one of my weakest. My, I, I think I want to do a competition. So I need to get my bench press up. But when they get back to heavy lifting. Ooh, that was great, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit wider because of the shoulder. Because of the shoulder, I, I gotta be careful. I can't be messing around. I'm trying to ego lift with you guys. Great contraction on the chest as well. Really great contraction. All right, guys, our second set, we bumped it up to 155. I rested a good minute and 15 seconds. If you guys wanna know how long I rested, all right, come on, let's lock in. I'm in powerlifting. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Woo. All right, I want to show you guys. So if you guys don't have access to this, those things cost about like, uh, Bench press blocks cost about, um, what, what brand is this? This is the benchblocks.com. These things cost like $10, but with inflation due to COVID-19 happening, you know, this might be cost a lot more, maybe $10 more, $20. So I'm gonna bump the weight up. I'm gonna rest for a minute and 30 seconds just to make sure I get the proper recovery. All right, guys, final set of our block presses. And we bumped it up to 175. I want to be explosive. My bench press definitely will go up using this. I messed up by not investing in this. My total for my powerlifting competition would have been way higher. But as always, the next time, and I feel better and healthier than ever as of right now. That word, final movement. Some incline presses, level four. Two more. One more. We're gonna go up in weight, baby. We're gonna go up 10 pounds to the 70 pounders. We're gonna rest for two minutes. All right, guys, second set. Whoop. One more. Woo. Now, the reason why I put it at level four, level three, once again, I'm sound like a broken record. Bobs the shoulders just a little bit. So level four is a great level to take some stress off the shoulders. All right, guys. Third and final set of our dumbbell incline press. I want to get five reps. Two. One more. Two. 
Ooh, yes, sir. All right, guys, we just finished from hitting our chest, mainly focusing on our lower chest, and we finish it off with some heavy incline dumbbell presses. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, comment. Make sure you guys comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Peace.